You're watching WUFT TV News. A new study found that kids are taking notice when parents are hooked on their smartphones. Researchers from Boston Medical Center went undercover to see how parents' smart home behaviors can affect relationships with their children. WUFT's Morgan Falcon was at Westside Park in Gainesville today to talk with area parents about their smartphone habits. Zach Tanner loves running, jumping, and enjoying lunch at the park. The soon-to-be four-year-old demands a lot of attention from his mom. Christy Tanner, a mother of three young children, says these are the crucial years in her kids' lives and she's choosing not to waste it on her smartphone. I just think it's definitely something that people need to think about as a parent, as a mom. What's your most important priority? Is it you want to make sure to not miss the moments with the kids in day-to-day -day life and they're only small for so long so don't miss it because you're checking Facebook status. Tanner recently stopped by the library to check out a book titled Hands-Free Mama, a helpful guide on how to spend less time plugged in and more time on what really matters. New research shows that in this tech-savvy age, many parents are losing focus on their children due to time spent on their phones. The study suggests that parents who are absorbed in their smartphones while they're around their kids actually causes a disconnect between the parent and the child meaning parents should be spending less time sliding their fingers and more time playing with their child. Others feel that while balance is needed between technology and their kids, phones can be used as a tool to help your parenting. Overall, I think it really helps because um, kids always ask like these funny questions, you know, why is the sky blue and you just Google it. So um, it's kind of having your library in your palm. Patricia Casimir uses her smartphone often, but says her family has rules to not use electronics at the table. Um, and of course, my kids have come to me and say, Mom, you're not paying attention. I'm trying to tell you something, you know, and I'll be on my phone. Ultimately, it's up to the parents to control whether smartphones become a negative or a positive. Morgan Falcon, WUFT News. The study's authors say while phones shouldn't be removed completely, boundaries should be in place and respected. Researchers say the bottom line is to send a message of love by paying personal attention to children.